welcome to Bombay Talkies. My guest is someone who's remained all his life fiercely in the public gaze as the leading actor of his times and then later on as a three-time MP, but is still remained somewhat of an enigmatic figure. Vinod Khanna joins me. Hi. Yeah, uh, on this rooftop with stunning views of, of Malabar Hill. And Malabar Hill, which is, which is home for you. Yes, Ali. yes, I live at Malabar Hill. I've been living there ever since. So you've, you've always been a, a South Bombay person. I mean, despite most of the rest of the fraternity being in the other end of town. Oh yeah, I love South Bombay. I've grown up here. You see, I have all my childhood memories this side of town. Mm. My friends are this side of town, or were. And, uh, and I, I'm just too familiar with everything around this side. You know, whether it's uh, Malabar Hill, whether it's Church Gates, Marine Drive, it's Muhammad Ali Road, it's Flora Fountain, it's uh, all this, that side. This has always been home. It's always been home, yes. From Peshawar to Malabar Hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when your family moved here uh, from uh, Peshawar, uh, this is this is where you first found home, is it? In, in South Bombay. Yeah. We came uh, from Peshawar straight to Mumbai. And uh, we we got a house in uh, what is now called the August Kranti Mark. Right. Which was earlier known as Gwalia Tank. Very and historic, which is yeah. the Liquid India movement. Yes, uh, yes. Unfolded. So we grew up there. We played in that maidan, we played cricket there, we played football there, we played hututu there, we did kavadi there. I, I went to everything, everything that happened, kite flying. All of that? All of that, yes. And this was a, a family, a, a, your father was a, a businessman? And yes, my father's a businessman, was a businessman and the business is still continuing, my brother looks after it. What, what business? We were in the thing? textiles business and dyes and chemicals. Okay. And we also put up an industry where we manufactured uh, warp knitting fabrics. But none of that drew you. That was that didn't no, excite it did, you. It, it, did. It, it did excite me to a point, and after that, it, it got very boring. So when I was offered a film role by Mr. Sunil Dutt, the yes. late Mr. Sunil Dutt, I mean, I I was very cautious in breaking the news to my parents because my father was dead against me joining the film industry. So but how did that? Uh, how did that? How did that first encounter happen? Was there a, was there again a sort of a partition connection there with the Dutch? No, 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 no. It was just it was just we had a uh, few common friends, and I think uh, there was this whole generation change that was happening when the Beatle era was there. Hmm. And Mr. Sunil that was not part of that era, but he wanted to experience that era. So he right. came to one of our teenage parties. You know, okay. we were college, you were, you college were, uh, going kids. You were heavily into that whole sort of hippie. Oh yeah, sure, kind. sure, sure. I was not a hippie, but but, <laughs> but yes, we uh, rebelling against our parents. You know, the whole conservative society. We were, you know, kind of breaking it up and putting our viewpoint forward. So at that point of time, uh, you had a party. We had a party. We used to have a party every week. <laughs> so. <laughs> So he, he came with uh, some common friends, you know, Anju Mahendru and, right. and, and that whole gang. You know. right. He came with them and he met me. And then after a few days, I get this offer that, uh, would you like to work in a film that I'm producing? And uh, so I took it, you know, as you a... You were how a, old then? You must have been... I was 18. Eh? 18 or 18 and a half, I think I must have been. And the rest is history, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> but the best years, sir, were obviously the 70s, right? The, Mid yes, 70s yes, is yes. where things really kind of yeah. took off. And then of course the action hero took over, you know, the anti-hero, the, the angry man. Mm, mm. Then Amitabh and me combined, you know. Charlie, those were, those were actually... The wonderful films. Those yeah. were five big hits. I mean. Very big hits, yeah. They were all Golden Jubilee films. What was that? Give me, give me a, a little sense of the first time when both of you... Uh, I think Hera Ferry was the first time when you... Yeah, Hera the first Ferry, film you did together? Khun Paseena. Amar Akbar Anthony. Yes. Mukaddar Ka Sikandar. Mukaddar Ka Sikandar. And then there was, uh, which one, one more? Yeah. Parvarish. Parvarish. Yeah. <laughs> You've done your homework. <laughs> I've watched all these films many, many times. <laughs> and, you know, they're all fantastic films. But uh, was there, a, I mean, how did that, how did the dynamics work? Because you are, you're, both your careers were on the ascendant at that point. Yeah. And there was potential for friction and for some sense of, of one-upmanship. No, I think was there we, any of that? No, I don't think. I think we both worked uh, very cordially with each other. But of course, we were both very uh, different. Different in the sense, yeah, the roles that we portrayed on screen. But we complemented each other. We uh, we both were very uh, wary of the script. Hmm. So we both, you know, would be very sure that about each other's to... roles naturally. That you know, nobody is uh, getting uh, more, or somebody's getting less. Right. 
and accordingly we we did those films together and and uh, we could have gone on and on till i quit the right. film industry you know? right. that is the time after mukaddar ka sikandar when you decided to yeah. throw it in yeah. yeah then but there was never a sense of rivalry with amitabh i think it's the media that created the rivalry but we were friends we are still friends there's no question about it but yes with the fan following you know everybody used to talk about it used to be club amitabh bachchan you know khanna amitabh bachchan yeah that kind of thing went on because in some ways though you were both co-stars in these films and uh, and you said that you you monitored the script closely they were seen more as as his films like they were pilots or they were launching pads for his eventual success did, did you ever see it like that or no i didn't see it uh, like that at that point of time at that point of time but later when i think yes i think uh, when when uh, you know i look back now hmm. and i see there were games being played you know there there were games being played which which i was not that kind of a person i was never a p- political person in the film industry hmm. to ensure and, that and i was never an ambitious person i was never a person who wanted to reach right on the top or you know strive for that or you know make a camp i didn't have any camp right you know you know jiska koi nahi uska vinod khanna that's the way people used to talk about me <laughs> <laughs> so there were no camps at all that right. i belong to whereas uh, uh, i think the other actors you know they had their groups they right. had the group of producers they had the but yet i think so i they... got my share i demanded my share and i got it no matter who the producer was no matter who the you had to was. you had to sort of put your foot down absolutely, i suppose absolutely you had to so of course uh, mukaddar ka sikandar was 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 the peak and then uh, and there was always this side to you that you always seem to have as you said i mean you you weren't obsessed about success in, no, in the way that no i wasn't where did I that wasn't. come from i mean you you're talking about this this earlier phase where you were uh, no, or somewhat I, of a rebel and and no it was you know i've always followed my heart i've i've always enjoyed what i've done i've done it totally but at the same time i always looked within all the time you know hmm. what is happening inside me and hmm. i found myself suddenly you know a person who was unhappy unhappy means there was uh, i had everything but at yet i was seeking uh, something which was uh, you know spiritual and the the kind of contact or the association with rajneesh had begun even before you actually threw everything up when 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 did yeah, that yeah. when did that start no that my association with rajneesh started in 85 but uh, my journey uh with meditation hmm. into meditation started about 3 years before that okay i started with tm transcendental meditation right. maharishi mahesh yogi yes and then i i i did i used to read a lot i i read parmahansa yogananda i read so many so much of spiritual stuff so wow. i i uh, that became my priority you know for me uh, buddha in a posture meditating became the most important thing in life that's a very uh, interesting contrast i mean you were playing these tough macho violent roles on screen yeah, but yeah, yeah. inside you was a very different there was a spiritual vinod khanna yeah, yeah. but i was not just uh, playing violent roles on the screen i used to be a very angry violent person myself you know i you used were. To, i means i used to get very easily provoked i got into so many fights i i you know but i never picked a fight ever but i right. ne- never refused a fight so whoever wanted to pick a fight right. with me you know i was ready What, what? whether it was 10 guys against me alone or you know it was me against 20 guys or it was just one against one give, give me ex- instances of what, what what could have what were the provocations for example no like provocation means you're sitting in a restaurant you know right. and somebody comes and uh, starts uh, talking naughty about the girl you're with or or you know the females or right. or just making a remark about you know film star as ala kya samajhte hain aapko you know right, even right, stupid right. things like this would get uh, and you immediately yeah immediately I mean I wouldn't go back, back. Off, I right. wouldn't back off yeah you get into brawls and stuff yeah yeah many times so it was but that was also one side of me which I I didn't want to kind of uh, suppress because that was me right. you know so I was I always let myself go right if I loved somebody I was totally in love passionate yeah passionate with love if I hated somebody I was totally you know that side if I disliked somebody that person was out of my life right so, So I was very total with whatever feelings, emotions I had. But you were also not just doing uh, sort of violent, action-oriented roles. Yeah. You were also occasionally doing a Gulzar film, or you were doing stuff. Oh yes, which was I always right? wanted you... to do the parallel cinema, what was called in those days. So I wanted to do something different. And then, of course, I, by the time I actually, uh, you know, 
got hold of myself as an actor within me, totally complete, felt really good about being an actor. Hmm. That's the time I felt now it's time to quit, you know, time to now go elsewhere. So that's that, when I... That was extraordinary. So, yeah. so how, so you just, what did you do? You just said one day... I just said one day enough, now I'm, uh, I'm, I found a guru. You know, I had become a disciple of Rajneesh by mm -hmm. then and, and I'd started meditating and I had uh, incredible experiences in meditation. Uh, while I was with him, while I used to visit Pune, Ashram. And what, we, and what, did, I you, never, what did you do there? Oh, I did how, how various they, things. Uh, I, Ashram see, they, life. They, yeah, the whole thing was, yeah, it was a commune. We started off with, you know, hardly 150, 200 people and finally we had 10,000 people living there at the time. We made a whole city. We built our own dams, we built an airport, we built our own houses. And you were we actively involved, hands actively on with all of that? With everything. I started off as a gardener. And then I, I did construction work, I did plumbing, I did electricity, I did uh, heavy machinery, I drove. Extraordinary. Vinod Khanna, the mega star, was suddenly <laughs> transformed into a gardener. Yeah. And that was, you, you, you didn't feel any, you didn't feel the, the, the drop or the... No, I the, loved uh, everything. Everything was so new to me. You know, I had never done those things ever before, you know. But driving, what driving a, you know... A, a, tractor. A, Tractor, a, a bulldozer, um, you know, all kinds of things. Those cranes, you know, transplanting trees, which are 100 feet tall trees, used to get from the redwood forest and transplant them in the in the ashram. But what happened to family and all of that, sir? I mean, I what? was in touch with my family. My family was. I looked after my family very well before I left. I didn't even know that I was not going to come back. That I was. I was going to stay. I just went to visit. Hmm, hmm. Oh. But how old were were the boys at that point? The they? boys were. Uh, one was five and the other was eight. Akshay was eight and... Uh, no. Sorry, Rahul uh, was eight. Rahul was eight and Akshay was five. five yeah. So I, I stayed away from them for about four years. Yeah. But was that... I mean, in hindsight, do you think that was fair? To suddenly well, abandon I, I, them? Well, I, I don't want to. I don't think today you would say that it was fair or not fair. But, but for me, that was the most important thing. That was the right thing. thing to do. That was the right thing to do. And I think they were too young to, to notice Fully my, comprehend to, you know, notice my absence uh, and I think the mother did a great job the way she, you know, pulled them through this whole four years hmm. and uh, I, I have no regrets about it and I think my kids also have, have no such uh, thing.